name is Haley. It's Ada. Paul. Laugh. Nah. Steven Thorne. Private Ruben Mendoza. Hi, my name is Olivia and this is my dolly shine. What does being brave enough mean to me? The first and more important thing would be accept myself. I think being brave enough is being who you are. Being brave enough is just being yourself. What is brave enough for me is getting up every day. Being brave enough sometimes means simply to be alive or to stay alive. It can mean fighting an external force like a bully or a war and being a hero to someone else. If someone's getting bullied then you have to stand up for them and if no one will stand up for you then you have to try and be brave and stand up for yourself. It means being able to share your story even when people are telling you to shut up and not being afraid of it. Standing up for what you believe, even if others think you're wrong, even if other people want to hurt you for it, but you know it's the right thing, and God knows it's the right thing. Being brave is about making decisions which pushing the limits of your personality. Being brave enough for me as a medical student means to fully take responsibility for the decisions and actions in hospital. Getting out of your comfort zone to test the potential that nobody knows how much you have. I think that's being brave enough to do anything. I am brave enough to play my cello again. I will be brave enough to face that to life and enter into the university to become an engineering. I'm brave enough to be an author and a musician. I want to be brave enough to start my own YouTube channel of dancing, even though I've been ridiculed about it so much in the past because I'm not really that good at it. I am brave enough to love myself, despite that I have all of these insecurities about my physical appearance, but I still love myself and embrace myself as a little nerd that I am. It means to me that uh, I have to stand up for myself at school or I'll just get bullied. One of my fears was always been self-doubt. I'm normally a very shy person, and if I was going to go do something, it was usually in the company of friends, but never, never by myself. Brave enough means for me, I survived. It wasn't always easy for me. The first time I really felt like I needed to be brave enough to do something was when I had to admit that I needed help. And there's always going to be another situation, another problem where it feels like there's no solution, no way out of it. So, I was hiding in the closet for about 14 years. And just last year, I came out to everybody on Facebook. It was really scary, but there was this big weight that came off of my chest afterwards. When I returned from my first deployment, I struggled with depression. I lost sight of who I was, and with that came losing my will to chase after my dream. I lost my best friend, Alexandria, on January 20th, 2016. Without getting into too much detail, she developed a brain tumor, and before she could begin treatment, it took her from us. But that's where I have to be brave enough and go on living for her by following my dreams. Thirteen years ago, I met the sweetest, most angelic person I will ever have. She agreed to be my wife. A little over five months ago, she passed this life. I will admit there are times when I wanted to join her, but I realized I can't put my life on hold because she's not here. Me being brave enough is to follow your dreams and goals even if you're not, even if you think you're not the best qualified or the most fit or best one out there for the job. For me, being brave enough means overcoming a physical disability, but it also means overcoming people's perception of me based on that disability and showing by example that I am no different than everyone else and that I want the same things out of life that everyone else does, like a home and a family and people who love me. I hope to be brave enough to remember also that there are good people throughout the world and that if I try, I will be able to find them. I'm trying to be brave enough for for him, for me, for Gabby, for, for everyone. If I can improve one person's life, or one person's day, then that's enough. I was brave enough 
to go through it and I'm brave enough to show me with my scars and to tell my story. Because I'm brave enough to at least try. I want to be brave enough to accept myself as a lesbian so that I can be more comfortable with who I am and I can be happy. I want to be brave enough to take more chances and start living outside of my comfort zone. The last year, I didn't have any friends really. Now, I have more friends than I can ever count, which to me is amazing. So when asked what's brave enough to me, it's making sure that they know every day that I care about them. For me, being brave enough means being brave enough to let people into your life and to love them and to show that you care about them. I'm brave enough uh, to uh, go on water slides. It also is being determined, not giving up. We can all be brave enough by not giving up, by having hope, by just continuing to live no matter what comes our way. Means being able to face your own failures and step over obstacles you placed in your own path. For me, brave enough means face obstacles of our life without fears and with a lot of happiness. Having the courage to pursue your dreams and do what you want to do. To be able to embrace all changes without fear. I believe what it means to be brave enough is to try different things and not be afraid of change and what's coming next. So I will be brave enough to open up more. I'll also be brave enough to live my life to the fullest, to do good in the world. And, and I want to let go of this anxiety and let go of this fear of not being who we are and I want us to live the way we want to live. Uh, nowadays I'm trying out new things and instead of doubt filling in my head, I'm just diving right in. Right now I run my own video game broadcast and I'm currently composing a second album which I'm, I'm sort of right runs one musical version of writer's block but then I'm determined to get it done and it's all because then I was brave enough to open up to new things. I know I'm not exactly the best qualified or most fit but I still pursued it with all my heart and I'm still here each and every day so each day is for me is a test of how brave I am. Even after all I've been through such as depression, anxiety, family issues, and an emotionally abusive relationship at one point in my life, but I'm still here and I'm still fighting it. Even after all that stuff that could have pushed me down, I'm still stand I still stand up every time. Even after I thought there was one point where I'd be depression, and then it came back. I'm still fighting it. What makes me brave enough to go on living for Alex, to live healthier, and to live out my dreams? Even though the crowd tells you, you can't, you can. Taking chances on things. And not necessarily doing it without fear, because I think fear is normal. But not letting those fears stop you. Don't let them keep you from doing things that you want to do, because you don't know what the outcome is going to be. It's really hard to be brave enough, but we have to find the courage to be brave enough for ourselves and others. The impossible is never really the impossible as long as you commit yourself, that you say to yourself that I can go, I can get through this, I can do this, I can fight, I can do whatever is possible. I know it's hard sometimes because there is a lot of people who might judge you, but I stop thinking about them, I stop thinking about what they might say or think about me. And uh, I would rather be my little wild self than, than to pretend that I'm someone who I'm not. So, to be brave enough, you can't be afraid to follow your dreams, and you can't give it up. And when someone tells that you can't be brave enough, don't listen it, because you can do everything you want. Maybe life isn't perfect the way you want it to be, but you know you have to work hard on it in order to reach your goals or your dreams. That's what being brave enough means. Big hug! <laughs> Guys, I just want to thank everyone so much who sent in a video. Today's actually Mental Health Awareness Day. And I myself have had my own battles with mental health and 
I want to bring awareness to this because I think the most important way to have good mental health is when we're honest with ourselves. And um, the fact that you guys sent in your stories and regardless of what you shared, you guys were so vulnerable and so open and so honest. To me, that is being brave enough. So, I love you guys all so much. Mwah. Thank you.